Fueled by Deathcast. Not everybody's going to succeed, yeah. whether you're talented or not. Exactly. You know, and it's just the way it goes, but you got to put the work in if you really want it. Sometimes sure. you're not going to make it. And you have to be aware of that when you, the, when you first set out that you, yeah. you, you may not you may not succeed at first or second or third or fourth or fucking ever. Yeah. But you got to try it if you actually want it. Yeah. And you got to, you know, I mean, and dude, you see so many people like, I mean, I respect the guy that works as a waiter who's an actor that like it. I respect the guy that works yeah. and, you know, pays his way instead of just not doing anything right. and then complaining that you're not getting work because you're putting so much. Like, that was a big lesson for me early on was like, you can't put this monetary pressure on your art, right? you right. know, because then it suffers and it just becomes shitty and you get resentful at the art, but it's not, you know, or the people that are preventing you from doing your art. But it's like, if you got a job, then it doesn't matter really because yeah. you're still you know you're like making money you can pay for you can go on dates you can put gas in your car you know you can show up for your life and you know in a different way and i don't know that's just like a big thing for me because i see a lot of people you know uh, fall into that trap well i've know? always heard the opposite of like don't have a plan b if you if you want to make it as a musician just do just be a musician and that's it but yeah that's a really interesting perspective where if you hang everything up on your musicianship yeah that they're you're you're anchoring your creativeness yeah, yeah. i mean uh, creativeness is a is a channel and the more filters right. you put into that channel the the less you're gonna get the essence of what you're trying to do, yeah. And hanging up everything on that music career, you're you're gonna fuck it up. Yeah, it's really interesting. Well, it's funny. Like a friend of mine said to me once, you know, he's like, "Look, dude," and he's an actor, you know, and he's like, "Look, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna act. You're probably gonna be an old man playing guitar on your porch, you know. You're always gonna play guitar. You're a yeah. guitar player, yeah. but." You know, if you get to make a living at it, that's like, that's the gravy. Yeah. But you already have the thing. You already love to do the thing. So do the thing. Right. But you don't have to, you know, because for me it was, you know, I was going to, my plan B was to join the set builders union, you know, because I used to do art department on sets and I mm. love doing it. You yeah, know, and I, I, yeah. It's, I did it in college. It was, it it's was killer, fun, yeah. dude. I would do it today. Some days I'm like, oh, I should do that. Like when I'm not, like I'm in between <laughs> jobs, but then I'm like, like yeah, but on. then I'm like, oh, I'm going to fuck up my hands. And it's like, it's, Cause it's hard work, you know, it's oh, like yeah. you wake up and your hands, like you can't even open them. And it's like, it's brutal. And then I'm like, oh, you know, I only make, oh, uh, maybe I won't. Do it. Maybe yeah. I won't. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I have a lot of friends that still do it. And you know, it's, but that was my plan B. You know, when my grandmother was like, oh, well, what are you going to do? Because like when I got in Velvet Revolver, I was 35, mm -hmm. you know, and, and up until then I was just like, I always had a job, you know, yep. working somewhere. Yep. And so I built sets and then it was like, well, what are you going to do? I'm like, I, I was, I actually said to her, you know, if I don't make it by the time I'm 35, I'll join the union and I'll fucking just build sets right because i like doing that that's that's which my... is not a not a bad path no it's yeah. awesome yeah you it's know it's really like creative great. yeah you get to work with great people totally. you get to travel you're on sets you you know the job doesn't stay the same all the time yeah it's rad and uh you know so that was my deal and literally it was like two weeks before i i was literally was gonna borrow the money from my dad to borrow to join the union which was like 2400 bucks and that's when i got in Velvet Revolver. Oh my gosh. So literally, and I just met my wife. We'd been going out like a month. And so that's some awesome. Like your timing. whole life shift. Yeah, it's, it was wow. crazy, dude. 